got this grimy old Sony Vio laptop here that I'm going to fix for somebody. It's actually like a friend of my co-workers. And they got that nasty virus that's been going around. But I'm going to also clean this thing physically because it's disgusting. The keyboard is just covered in grime and the, the screen is all smudged up and it's just really nasty. But check out this virus though. This is the thing I blew up. Uh, it's going to take forever. Luckily, I was able to boot into safe. I was able to boot up into safe mode and back up all their stuff onto these uh, memory sticks. Because of course they had no backups. But let's see what this thing does as soon as it loads. There it goes. Security protection designed to protect. And it's doing a nice fake virus scan. You can't even press Control Alt Delete. Uh, you can't close it. Can't do anything. And I'm sure quite a few of you have seen this virus before. Um, as bad a condition as this Windows installation is in, I'm just going to totally format it and do a fresh install and just put on the basic programs that they're going to use and just keep it at a minimum. And of course install Firefox as well, instead of Internet Exploder, so maybe it'll work a little bit better. Let's see how it turns out after it's all cleaned up anyway. It also needs a little more RAM, it's only got a half a gig, I'm going to try to put a little more in, maybe 1.5 gigs. Uh, according to Sony, this laptop only supports up to a gig of RAM, but other people have saying no, it actually supports 2 gigs, so I might see about ordering a 1 gig stick and then... Uh, put that in there with one of the existing 256 meg sticks and you know have 1.2 gig or something should be enough for what they're going to do. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Okay I got picked up another RAM chip for this. I'm going to see if it actually will work with a 1 gig stick uh, contrary to what Sony says. And I also found out that the switch for the wireless LAN was broken inside. or Not the switch but the um, the slider on the front of the case it wasn't actually moving the switch inside so I had to take the uh, couple of screws out here and just kind of pull separate the two halves of the case a little bit just enough to reach in there and turn the switch on and then I put it back together and taped over that slider so they don't bump it back to the off position uh, sometime in the future if they want to do some more work to it I'll replace the the broken parts on this because it's also got broken latches on the uh, on the you know when you close it it doesn't latch anymore but anyway let me pull out one of these 256 meg chips and put in the new one gig chip I made sure to get another chip that had the same CAS latency which was 2.5 because uh, CAS 2.5 and CAS 3 don't always go go too well together but anyway let's see what happens and what do you know it detects it just fine 1.2 gigs, much better than uh, 512 meg, should help Windows run a lot faster. Funny how this computer doesn't fill the screen when you're not uh, using the native resolution. Even my old Toshiba Tekra 730 CDT from like the 90s had a stretch function for the other video modes, but <laughs> for some reason this, this one doesn't. Uh, much better nice and clean and I also got the found the driver for the the uh, function keys and the keyboard so I could adjust the volume and brightness and uh, I think this is the first laptop I've seen that actually needed a driver for that to work 
but the brightness was all the way down so now that it's turned up it looks a million times better I thought that maybe the CFLs were dying or something but it turns out it was just uh, just turned way down and uh, everything seems to be working good it still takes quite a while to load everything when you first boot windows but it's only a 1.6 gigahertz uh, Pentium M chip I wonder if it's upgradable at all <coughs> but everything Everything seems to be working great so far, compared to what it was anyway. Sometimes I feel like doing that to computer stuff I'm working on, you know. It's one of them days. It's like a smoke bomb. <laughs> anyway. I think I'm going to make sure everything is updated on this and set exactly how it needs to be and get it back to the owner. Maybe if they want to get some more work done to it <clears throat> later on I'll see about upgrading the processor and like I said fixing these broken latches and this broken Wi-Fi switch. But for now it's still a hundred times better than what they started with. <laughs> <laughs> 